We live in a vast, culturally diverse region, stretching from the Arab states of West Asia to the Pacific Islands. This dynamic region is experiencing profound change. It's seen rapid economic development, but also great volatility. Despite a robust rebound from the economic downturn, the future is far from certain. Small enterprises are suffering. Tens of millions of self-employed workers remain unprotected and vulnerable because of their precarious occupations and lack of social protection. Rising food and fuel prices are a threat, particularly to poor and low-income families. Natural disasters have also taken a heavy toll. In less than a decade, these catastrophes have devastated lives and livelihoods in many countries. While the economy in many countries continues to grow, the benefits are not being fairly shared. Millions of young people are increasingly frustrated by a lack of skills or opportunities for decent work. This year, their resentment and anger spilt onto the streets. Young people's sense of injustice and frustration has fueled popular uprisings in what's become known as the Arab Spring. Even before the economic downturn, in some parts of Asia and the Pacific, youth were five times more likely than adults to be unemployed. And as more people reach working age, 28 million new jobs are needed each year just to meet the additional demand. Addressing the employment needs of youth is a major challenge, but it must be seen as an opportunity and not a threat. Since the last regional meeting, many other challenges have been addressed and action is being taken. In post-disaster areas, the ILO has been working with governments, social partners and other UN agencies to help families regain their livelihoods and rebuild ruined infrastructures. Some constituents have been improving labour market governance and inspection systems, extending social protection and making workplaces safer. Improved skills and worker productivity gains coupled with fair wages are being seen, and some steps have been taken to improve dialogue between workers and employers. <laughs> Progress has also been made in eliminating some of the worst forms of child labour. And there is a growing recognition that labour migration is not a problem to be solved, but a process to be better managed. Meantime, increasing regional integration and trade is helping to support economic stability and create decent jobs. A framework to help coordinate much of this important work has already been provided through the ILO's Decent Work Country programmes. To sustain efficient growth, the region will need to boost productivity, create greener jobs, continue to improve skills and encourage entrepreneurship, especially if it is to meet the needs of young people. Young people can make an important contribution to the global prosperity. We must therefore work together to prevent the increasing unemployment among young people. We must invest more in sectors that generate jobs for youth we must also work toward a global coalition for youth employment. Asia and the Pacific are moving through the second half of the Asian Decent Work Decade. Overall, this region can develop a better synergy between rights and standards, employment, economic and social protection policies. Supported by ILO conventions and standards, the tripartite system provides a way forward in these uncertain times.